that we're live. Welcome to Double Funnel TV. We're here. <laughs> but I did see where Be Live is beta testing the capability for guests to share screens. Wow. And for multiple camera angles, which that's getting a little fancy, but okay. But I thought the multiple camera angles was nice. They're trying to compete with everyone else coming out on the market now. So we're, I thought we were using that other system this week. No. I need more time to play with that. That is a whole level of complex. Fine. <laughs> Whatever. Mm. Whatever. I get it. You're excited. I'm so excited. What you working on? I am working. I got so much stuff going right this second. It's awesome. You can't be distracted. No, I'm not right this second. I'm not oh. working on it. No, I'm not distracted. No. no. It's double funnel TV time. Are you kidding? No, it's time to to help peoples. Today we're helping you peoples. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Let's see if we can take this screen. I find off. it fascinating in business how much how many times you have to check and recheck the exact same crud. Yeah. What do you mean? Service I I had a client that deposited money in my account. That's not in my account. But I've got the deposit slips that show that they did it. Explain that to me. How do banks do it? How are banks in business? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I don't that's know what to tell you there. I know. But that's what I'm saying. You know, you should be able to just go, oh, well, thanks. That's awesome. You know, and, it, you know, everybody should do their job along the way, right? <laughs> <Novel concept. laughs> so silly so yeah what silly. am i doing expecting people to actually do what they say they do silly so silly anyway goose. all right let's go no, exciting do a times it's exciting times nothing can always work the way you want it to work so it can um, I had a client asking me it. why I was falling so deeply in love with Kartra the other day. Yeah. And, and as the answer we was talking, well, one of the reasons is because, just like we said, things don't always work the way they should work. But they work even less often correctly when they are duct taped together. And he wanted duct to duct tape. <laughs> you wanted to duct tape some stuff together. And I was like, and that's the problem. And as we're talking, I got a notification from Zapier that a zap wasn't working. I was like, and that would be the duct tape not working. I mean, at least it tells me that's new. That's, that's kind of cool. Yeah. We just want to tell you it's not. Oh, hey, it, you used to didn't get a notification. It just wasn't working. Right. And you would just have like appointments show up and you're like, well, that's, that's the hardest part about the expectations that have been created uh, in business or, you know, somebody sent me a text last night and they said, and so I answered him this morning. They said, well, I sent this last night. Well, my phone was turned off because at 630, I turned off my phone. Which makes sense. Right. Why was my phone turned off? Because I've got a rule at 630, I turn off my phone, you know, but I answered you first thing this morning, you know, but I mean, this just because you can send an outbound text does not mean either somebody is obligated to read it and or act on it at the exact same time you send it. Right. But it's like the, the, somebody has created this expectation that that's the way it should be. And that's silly. 
it's silly to, to think that all communications are instant communications. It's nice when it happens. It's great. You know, those kinds of things. But anyway. Right. See the, the, the extra bonus material you get here on Double Funnel TV. I know. So what are we doing with that? That's I'm a good look. Say. You know what I was thinking about that is huh. I wonder if we should break out the book cost at twenty nine ninety five and the bonus at a hundred dollars that equals the one twenty nine ninety five. I understand the number is right the here? same. Yeah. You know, so it becomes book twenty nine ninety five. Bonus. Are you talking about on this page or on this? Well, page? I'm thinking. I, I'm thinking right there, okay. because you know, I, it's funny because you don't know until you know, and I don't know that we've had enough response to be able to. But my gut tells me. I know we looking, haven't. Well, but I, I know, but I'm just saying that my gut is telling me that it needs to be broken apart. That's cool. You know, for a total value of 129.95. So just put total value or or put total before the word value and then put book 29.95 bonus um you know $100 $129 total value, right? Just from a because I think some, you know, I mean, I looked at it uh, and all of a sudden you sit there and go. You said the book was twenty nine. Twenty nine ninety five. Okay. Bonus, one hundred dollars. One hundred. I was debating the word bonus. Gotcha. You know, like that. So, I mean, it just, it's like, oh, well, that makes sense, right? I just think when you see the book in $129 total value, you go, what the hell is he thinking? This book is 129 bucks. Right. Kind of miss, you know, kind of, it's like, take credit for what you're doing. I mean, if you're doing it, take credit for it nicely, right? You don't have to be nasty about it or any of that kind of thing, right? I mean, you could be. I know you could be, but I, there's no reason to be. That's but I was just, problem. but I was just thinking with, you know, that particular offer. That's too bold. That's pretty bold. That is a very bold strike through. Be gentler. <laughs> Be nicer. Not in a nice mood. Kyle, just because it's raining again? I actually just don't mind it... the rain. I know. I'm in Texas. I know we need the rain. We need the rain. Up in here. Up in here. I did realize I was pulling screenshots yesterday for the email. I'm always telling my clients to email regularly, so I am forcing myself to email regularly now. Yes. And one, that's a lot of work. But I was pulling screenshots from the YouTube video that we do here on Double Funnel TV. And what I noticed was something terrible that we both are terrible at. Oh, Neither nice. one of us smiles enough on broadcast. It's because we're working, we're focused. Still, it's still live, it's still on like TV. What if we had one of those little sticks with a smile in front? No, I don't have anything. I feel like I should have an orange. Oh, that's really obnoxious. Um, but, uh, but, da, 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 da. So we have this one. We have so BG what are you gonna, branding. Yeah, what are you going to do with that page? 
What? Which one? Right here, I'm just looking at it. That's a good looking page. Because you and I and David and Sean were talking. And so I was trying to compare what we were, we had up on the board compared to what we have here. So I got the join now member login. Thank you for your purchase. Your book and travel savings gift card will arrive shortly. Please allow two days for processing, two to 10 days for mail service. But wait, there's more. Yeah. Hi, I'm Scott Schilling. I'm so now you put that in. Action. You took me up on the book offer with the sales tool aka travel savings gift card you want to learn how to sell and fulfill and fill your pipeline now get your full ebook now okay i don't like the wording here plus more tips free for the next 14 days cool welcome to the bgn insider membership my sales brain in a gift box Nice. Imagine the ability to learn all you need to know, plus with plus the worksheets and network assistance to implement and actually fill your pipeline, build trust with your leads, and close more sales. So we probably should put some verbiage here that makes more sense instead of that fake Latin habitas aug condimentum. What the heck? It's fake Latin. Don't you know your fake Latin? No. Good morning, Rayanne. Am I missing? Ryan just said hi. See, looking good, you two, because we're smiling. That's right. Because we're happy, I because we're working. And we love to work. We love to work. Right? Sure. That's our well, story. We're sticking have, to it. You sent me all sorts of goodies. Yes. Where was the page? You had a link. Yes. That had all of them available, like the to purchase. I can't remember what the website was. It was. Oh, the are you talking about the individual lessons? Yeah, but you could buy them from the link you gave me. Yeah, expertise.tv is where they're being hosted. But right. I sent you the page that had all the specific links to each. Um, that was the Dropbox. Well, that was the actual lessons you were going to put somewhere. Yeah. I mean, I you, you brought them in, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm looking for the copy. Oh, well, that I sent you. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted it to search my inbox. There we go. So you want all that copy again? Yeah, I had it up somewhere. Bing. Just easy for me to send it. Why don't I? Do you want it with or without links? I just need the one main link. The one main link to what? To, to the the expertise TV. To the verbiage. Yeah, to where to all the, the verbiage was. Here, I'll send you the verbiage. That's what I was asking you. Oh, okay. I'm confused. I know. Dude. That's why I was trying to clarify. I'm so confused. There's all the verbiage. And what I did is I cleaned it up, so it's just now the verbiage with the, um, you know, so you don't have to kick out links and things like that. I took the links out of there so that you can just kind of grab it all, you know, grab the. Grab the copy. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, I was like, where is it going? It's downloading and I'm completely missing it. I see it there on the left. I know. It's on the lower left. Now, Let's if you hit open. All righty, so. So. So, what are you going to do with that? I mean, one, you want... I want to create 
a template here so I can create one of these very quickly for Sean and David and even myself. Um, do you, so do you want the link there? So like when you click, like make those bullets um, hot links and then it goes to the description and the link to buy it? No, I want them to buy here. Well, so it'd be similar thing. You'd go to a, make that a hot link that would then go to the description and a buy now. Well, wouldn't it be very similar to the page, that checkout page that's already put together for the book? Well, the checkout, the, the checkout I, I don't have issue with. That's the easy part for me here. I'm looking at the sales copy process. Get attention. Got it. Your friend, David Frey. Frey. Fry, David Fry. He just has an extra letter because he wanted it. He's earned an extra letter. It says, it's like Walter Frey in Game of Thrones. Frey. It is so good that that series is over. <laughs> 12 Step Sells Letter System. Get attention. The opening headline is the first thing your reader sees. It must get their attention. People have a short attention span and sort mail over the wastebasket. Headline must target their interest or they'll throw your letter away. Thank you. Present for your better. Close more. Close make mo mo sales. Make more money. That's it. It's like eight words. Present better. But close, wait. Close faster. Make more money. Well, that makes me want to change the headline here. But wait, want the ebook so you can start? Yeah, nobody wants to read. Closing more sales now. Nobody wants to sell. You want the ebook? So you, actually, they don't want to close more sales. Make I more thought, money. I, I was about to say it. I don't. I don't want to close anything. That's you where I was start. going. Make more money. So you can start you making money now? Yes. We are selling wealth. I am Scott Schilling. I'm big on taking immediate action. You took me up on the book offer with the sales tool. Yeah. It's, it's interesting, Oliver, the weekend I had a, a number of people who had who purchased the um, seven steps of building rapport lesson. And they just went, I've already gone through it multiple times. I've taken so many notes. This is, this is awesome. And I said, now put it in action. Right. Go to a Starbucks. A what, what? A Starbucks and just start meeting people. Explain. We'll put it into action. Actually, go use the seven steps of building report. Right? Go to Starbucks and start talking to people. Shameless plug. Product placement. Um, just building report at Starbucks? Is that what I'm getting? Well, it's start practicing the seven-step process. You now have the lesson. You've learned the process to build, build rapport in a minute and a half or less. The way to get good at it is now to go do it. Rehearse, 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 rehearse. Do it. Go talk to people. I mean, a lot of people, I know you find this hard to believe, but they're more interested in shelf help than... Uh, really making it work, right? They buy it, put it on the shelf and walk away. You gotta put it into play. Welcome to the Business Growth Network Insider Membership Box. My sales. Why you be shaking your head? Huh? So not only were you not smiling, you were shaking your head like, no. That was a, that was a, Physiological clue. 
All right, let's go back to my list. Whenever I've got blocks, <laughs> go to the list. Get attention. Make Identify more money. Identify the problem. You ain't making enough money. Identify Is that the so? problem. Your, I mean, what could it be? Your business is stagnating. You aren't uh, achieving enough leads. You're not converting enough leads. I mean, think anywhere along the along the process. You don't know who the hell a lead is. You don't understand what the possibilities are. There's lots of things we could put in here at this point. Right. <clears throat> so what what do your mind be thinking now? I think really? we need to stab them with a dagger. Business doesn't have to suck. What do you want to say? Business doesn't have to suck. Well, that's kind of stabbing them with a dagger. That is. Trying to give an example there of that dagger stagging, stabbing. I'm not sure what those two words were, but yes. Stabby, staggy. <laughs> words are hard. That's how so we can unfold. smile more if you just keep on talking with words that are non existent. Hey, now, what do you mean by non existent <laughs> words? I like to conversate from time to time, and that's perfectly okay. All right. All right. Features, call to action. Empty section, navigation, hero. You know, let me. I kind of like that one, but it's coming off of that one. So, oh, you know what? Let me do, let me do a headline. So what's the headline? What's the, the short verbiage that stabs them? Do we want this to be a positive headline or a hit them in the head headline? Hit them in the head. Stop make stop making stop making sales hard. They don't care about sales. What is the thing they're actually afraid of? Well, the number one thing is rejection. Is typically, uh, you know, I just looked up top 10 challenges faced by entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. You know, cash flow management. So, I mean, it making money. Stop, stop making, making money hard. which is not the way to say it, but no. you get the point, sort of. Right? Stop making success hard. Stop making. You could say stop making cash flow hard. What would be another? Uh, yeah, yeah, difficult. What's that? Stop making cash flow. That would be a good one. Stop making cash flow difficult. I mean, you could say get out of your own way. But I mean, I think cash flow, cash flow is the number one thing. You know, if you, if you don't have cash coming, you got a problem, right? And if you don't have enough of it, it's hard to manage. And then all, you know, a lot of the other things.
one time offer for like that. You don't yeah, like yeah. the word you don't like the word hard as opposed to difficult. Difficult it's oh it's difficult. No, it's hard. I mean, it's more poignant, right? It's more pop them in the head. Smack. Smack, smack, smack. Is that if that's what you're working to do? Yeah, this right here. I want to stab them with a dagger. I mean, it's interesting because it says top 10 challenges, right? Number one is cash flow management. And then hiring, time management, delegating, product choice, marketing strategy. I mean, it's all, all the those... not fun stuff. That's what yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah, It's all the stuff that nobody wants to do. They just want to go out there and be successful and be Steve Jobs without any of the stuff that makes it happen. I mean, that's what that sounds like to me. Yeah. I mean, I think it's, this is written from a, but it's interesting if you've got cash flow, you can address a lot of those things, right? So Ooh, one dollar bills. That's exciting. No, we want Even hundred dollar bills. Pennies. We want hundred dollar bills. Like that. That's one? what we want. Yep. I sent you those pictures. I'm trying to find one that makes a good background. That's a good one. Good old Benji. Benji. I like this. The fanned up Hunskies. Yeah. Uh, nobody wants 20s. One and change. It's so amazing to see exactly where they pulled all those from. That's a good pick. It is. I like that one. They all come from the same places because that's where they get their free stock from. Right. I think I like that one. Yeah, it's, it's not too, too cluttered. That. No, it'll. You can overlay it, right? Yeah, but I like that the original image is not even cluttered. Well, yeah, no, I, I agree. Flying the friendly skies here isn't quite the imagery that I'm going for. Flying the friendly skies of Benji. Of Benji, I like Benji more. With Benji, yep. I can have all the. The plane seats I want. <laughs> exactly. Somebody That's has to laugh point. at our ridiculousness. Well, they don't have to. They should. They should. What is Jenna Apgar's mind thinking? That's a very loaded question, Scott. Hmm. <laughs> Which one was loaded? That one. As far as because I said earlier, what were you thinking? Like I'm supposed to respond to something cleverly with a smile on my face of what you're thinking, except I got no clue what the hell you're thinking. <laughs> Don't try. Oh, I see. <laughs> Let's Ow. see, 50% opacity. Give a little Paxil scroll, Perlax scroll, whatever it's called. What? So it kind of moves. Thirty's a little forty. I want it to be clear. Let's go with thirty. Let's make that one lotto. Lotto. I got a lot of lotto. Yeah. And maybe the purpley color. Purpley. Purpley to match the page. That's a good idea. I feel like that one should be a hair bigger. I 
Just a hair. Uh, just a hair. Pick a date. Fix date and time. How many days do we want to give them for the offer? Do you want to do it like three days a week? I think seven days is fair. Seven days, yeah. Redirect. Yes, I do. Let's like go back into BG and Insiders then. We'll make it, we'll put together an offer that's unique just for the one time offers. Got it. Because I want them to get in. But after that, um, they can go get the regular price. Seem fair? Sure. Sure. Why not? So they got seven days to get in. <clears throat> Yes. And then what? Then they get full price. Got it. So they should hurry. Got it. Makes sense. So this, this, well, does this follow up like after the thank you or this is the thank you? This is the thank you. Oh, it just started pouring raining. Just started pouring raining. Yep. You are making up words left and right this morning. I made up a word? Pouring raining. It's it is pouring. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This just offer listen. is good for just one thing. week from this moment. From the second you see this, it will go up and smoke, Mr. Phelps. That's an obscure reference that the vast majority of people watching this have go, who's Mr. Phelps? I have no idea. You're not going to tell me? You don't know who Mr. Phelps is? Seriously? So that proves my point on the second comment I made. What? So, He yes. was the head of the Missions Impossible Force. The Impossible Missions Force. I was about to say that that was M, M but that's Bond. Right. It was Peter Graves was the actor that played Mr. Phelps in Mission Impossible. So Mr. Phelps would go into some obscure phone booth and all of a sudden the phone would give him the mission and it will, uh, it will, the, this tape will self-destruct in five seconds. Squirrel. Where let's look, is um, let's look up let's look up Mission Impossible. Where's the I didn't know Mission Impossible was something prior to Tom. What's his crazy face? Tom Cruise model? Yeah. Yeah, you Sean really says really well, lost that, me. Yeah, Sean says that was like in the twenties, right? Yeah, it was on it was on old time radio. Old time <laughs> It was on TV. It used to be a TV show. That's right. If you choose to Did they have the color back in the 20s? They didn't have TV back in the 20s. I don't know. You know, it's not been a laptop or an iPad all of your everybody's life. I, I feel truly lost. I, I'm still in a little bit of shock that... Mission Impossible existed before Tom Cruise. <laughs> That's hilarious. 
I don't know what to do with that information. <laughs> My brain is broken now. It's, it's like they're bringing back all the old TV shows as either movies or new TV shows. Because they are proven. That's right. All Hawaii right. 5 0. 5 0, 5 0, 5 0. Jack Lord. We're going to go here and create a one-time offer. Yes. So yes. 17 will not be the price forever, but while it is 17 a month, um, until we get the four partners, that would be me, you, Sean, and David right. launching it. What would be a good one-time offer purchase that would make it ridiculously stupid not to offer? Well, I think seventeen dollars is ridiculously stupid. To offer I do too, it. but I want to give them a. Do we raise the monthly a price stupider, then? A more stupider. Do we raise the monthly price then? Of the member from seventeen dollars to say twenty seven dollars. Yeah. I would think so. Done. I mean, th there's so much content. Here's what people aren't getting. It is if you there's a, there's this gentle balance between working to be good to people and taking advantage of people, and sometimes too little, um, too little is like well there must not be value. Look at this only cost me X, but. It's, you know, the stuff is so freaking valuable. We're, we're, Sean and I have had this conversation about the live stream cost for our upcoming June 15th event that everybody should register for. Um, but it's, it's so cost effective and you get all the recordings and you get this and you get that, you know, you get so much stuff and it's like, well, you know, we had, can it be that good if it's only really you, you can't understand that we're working to try to get more no more information out there and more knowledge so that you can do better we're on your side in this whole thing it's just it's fascinating the way people think destination page that's going to be Karcher page business growth network Still going to be the onboarding page. I like that for the different pricings, you can have different checkout pages. No, it's really cool. All right, save content. Check out help desk. Where are you going with this? Well, um, right now, multi price point. I am um, checking each time I go through here, I try to make sure I'm checking right. tags and nothing's getting missed because with each different additional price point, so the first thing I want to check is that. The affiliate is set up for the partners still, and everything's Makes still sense. good there. So this one is still going to do Business Growth Network, still going to do Beijing Insider, because I've changed price points now. I have two. Change the price on one. Got it. I want to make sure that everyone is tagged. So that, I mean, that's the – that's I guess you could say one of that is the downside of Kartra and – what makes it great, it is both, is that you do have to go through here and every time you change one thing, there's multiple things that need to be changed. So see right now, if somebody were to buy with that one, they weren't being added to a list. Got it. You have to go through here and make sure it's saved. You have to make sure they have access to the membership or you have to go back and do it by hand, which is a major pain in the tushy. 
So, so right now the affiliates, you get nothing. So on the bonus side, let's see, 30% of 27, what is that, eight bucks? So that'll well, go up there. Six, it's eight dollars and ten cents. I was rounding. <laughs> uh, but we gotta give a percentage over here. We still want you to get some love on all the other ones. Yeah. Ooh, I gave it a hundred percent. Let's not do that. For the JV broker. That math don't work. It does, just not well. It will come into play at some time. That whole math thing. <laughs> Affiliate program on opt-in. What is it? Oh, oh, okay. That's like as if they're going through a form, like yeah. at changing the form. Your affiliate list, tag your affiliates. Yes, I'd like to tag my affiliates. I was wondering why they weren't automatically getting tagged. Why is that? Because I didn't set it up, obviously. I guess they're on a list. We'll just stick with list right now. Perfect. Payment milestones, 14 days after calendar day, landing pages. Oh, we never changed these. Landing pages for your affiliate traffic. External URL, no, we're gonna do Kartra pages. Business Growth Network. Member Sales page. Landing page URL category. I already have that one. Landing page. Can I change this one? Probably. Index page. What is it you're changing there? Well, I've got a landing page. I'm wondering if that's like normally I have an option to select a Kartra page, and I'm not seeing that. I mean, I think they're trying to give me the option to have a landing page here, but I don't see an opportunity to make it. Does it have to be produced so that it can be selected? Does it, in other words, do you have to have something saved even if it was not perfected? I think I can put anything here is the idea where I could, so like I could send them to like that opted book page. I just thought I would be able to change it to a Kartra page instead of having to put a link. Like see there I have the, the choice of external URL or Kartra page. Here I only have the choice between HTTP or one with an S. Product index page, whatever. Moving on, I'm not, you know what I will do though? Never is mind. That, Save. Right, always. <laughs> um, business Growth Network, lead a magnet, book funnel with free shipping. Yeah. Scott Schilling, book funnel. Yes. Save. And you're like, save. Save. Save early and often. Affiliate sign up page, look and fill. Don't care. Got those core aspects out. Yay, look at that. 
it actually says you saved it. Well, that's <coughs> it. It's, it's not a page. Oh. They're not going to be that nice to me on a page. Okay, so where are we going? Going back to that page. That one page. Don't you remember that one page? Mm -hmm. With that thing that I don't know where I put it anymore. Lessons on demand. I'm trying to think if that's quite where I want to go. So, really quick here. Either way, I want the page done, but we can go into email sequences for all of the in betweens afterwards. Right. You already have buyers sending traffic before. I do have buyers. All right. We got a little time urgency. We did not stab them. That's what we didn't do. Got to stab them. At what point? Now. Where are we, though? I mean, are, what do we, which product are we talking about? Or is it just the, the membership, overall? The overall membership. But I want it to be a little bit more specific to you. Um, let's see. How would we say that? Because it's really the the various lessons are are we talking about on a specific lesson here? Or are we talking about on all lessons? In general, why do they even need your training to begin with? Grow their business, make money, make more money. But I mean, what are the negatives? What are they? What are They're they stuck. struggling with right now? They're stuck. They're avoiding. Any of these sound familiar? Stuck, avoidance. Uh, Feeling stuck. Yeah, avoiding making calls. What else? Um, pipeline, yeah, pipeline empty could be uh, poor presentations. Feeling desperate is right. Yeah, presentations falling flat. Handling or uh, getting hit with too many objections, getting hit with objections. Over the head. Yeah, kind of. Or getting hit with objections. Losing margins would be on that. Competing. Space in between there. Shh. Frustrated. That's nice. Ah, and do bold. Or italics. Yeah, frustrated, feeling stuck. Pipeline empty, void making calls, feeling desperate, presentations falling flat, getting hit with objections, losing margins, competing. I would actually say those are two. Losing well, margins and competing on price are actually two things. Ready to give up? 
pulling what's left of your hair out. Yeah, those are all. Identify the problem. Agitate it. Being mean to your dog. Well, that would be a problem. Provide the solution. Quick, easy to learn and implement. Where are you going? I'm going to add a little section that says, <gasps> I've got you. Huh? Quick, easy to learn tips, techniques, and strategies. Why would we want to give him a brand new camera right here? I was thinking I would change the picture. I know. I was kidding. Just trying to see what kind of picture it is. Um, get your, oh, thunder. Get your easy to learn and implement. Tips, techniques, and strategies. I'm trying to think how I want to present it, how you want to turn it around. What do you mean? Let's see. Could say something like success made easy. That made, what would you call it? Sales success? Make your business a success. But sales success, certainly. If you don't sell nothing, sales you can't. and business. Success easy. Right. If you don't make your selling easy, you got a problem. You got no cash flow, that's a problem. Well, exactly. Where are you going with that? I'm, not, I'm trying to transition. Into the lessons themselves or the BGN membership or. So I'm providing the solution. I want them to tell them. Kind of like going into the solution and the credentials. And then benefits. Benefits I kind of have. I do have this I want to fill in, but that's literally. Right. I mean, we could do that really quick. Um, let's see. What did we say we were going to give them? The three absolutes. Eleven deadly fears. Communicating with confidence. It's communicating with confidence. I feel like that is something I hear on a regular basis: is the inability to communicate with confidence. Well, because we've we've stopped talking. 
we've we've stopped understanding that communications is far more than text than words i think it was long before then i think there are people who've had an entire history of communicating and they're not doing it well true because people aren't teaching the importance of proper communications. I mean, think about it. We're, society is doing a horrible job of teaching a lot of foundational lessons. Definitely don't disagree with that. So would that mean that you agree? But I th that's what I was saying. I even, I'm thinking of- But I mean, just the way you said that, I can, but definitely don't disagree. So using a double negative as opposed to but saying I, mean, I agree like, with um, you. There are people who are older where society did teach them how to communicate and they have been giving presentations and they have been yeah. successful, but something has happened in their life that is sucking the confidence out. They're listening to competing voices. They're listening to that's not the way it's done anymore. You know, they're, they're choosing to believe that um, a millennial just won't listen. In other words, they're hearing the noise and believing the noise as, as opposed to believing the fact. A millennial is still a person. So, um, societal pressures and or technology and or um, observation is dissuading them from what they've known for years. It, it's so interesting because I, I had this conversation yesterday twice. I've had it, I have it almost every day, at least once a day. My platform is treat people with honor, respect, and dignity. It's a novel concept that's not so novel. It's the way it used to be. It's the way it still should be. Everybody's got a right to an opinion. Everybody's got a right to voice it. But respect how you voice it, where you voice it, when you voice it. You know, honor people as you voice it. You don't have to belittle people to voice your message. What? Exactly. You don't have to WWE your entire uh, dissertation. <laughs> Why not? Well, it doesn't, nothing, not everything has to be sensationalized. Treat people with dignity, honor, and respect. Address their issues, give them a choice, show them solutions, and let them choose. It's amazing how, you know, people return to that eventually. Sometimes it takes them longer to get there, things like that. But the point is, people want to be treated with dignity, honor, and respect. That's such a crazy concept. I know it is. It's so whacked out. So whacked out. That just was said. Exactly. All right. What's another one that I think is the most, that's like the attention grabber? Um, communicate with confidence, performance, pyramid. Well, the other reason people aren't taking action is, the, is, the, is fear. I mean, the reason people get stuck is fear. So that um, a naturally inbred emotion has taken over and gotten out of control. 
were built with fight, flight, and freeze. For years, everybody only thought it was fight and flight. But the third one, which hasn't been taught about much, is actually the most hazardous, and that's freeze. That's taking no action. So the 11 deadly fears, understanding that fear is natural, understanding that in many cases fear is good, and in, but excessive fear is paralyzing. Yes, no, maybe. Yes, no, maybe so. Again, we were, we were born with self-preservation mechanisms called fear or a self-preservation mechanism called fear. Fear is not the issue. Excessive fear is the issue. Misplaced issue, uh, fear is the issue. Irrational fear is the issue. It's a lot of issues. Potentially. Fear itself is not the issue. Our reaction to fear is the issue. Our reaction to fear is the issue. Our reaction or lack of action due to fear is the issue. The word satisfaction, satis in the real Latin or real Greek, stands for enough. Satisfaction is enough action. When we take enough action, we move forward. Training tip Tuesday. Eight for them and three for you. Is that all of us are born with. Mm -hmm. Kind of what I was saying, wasn't it? <laughs> it's like your description was written by you. Uh, who'd have thought? Yeah, it's not the, uh, again, appropriate, appropriate respect of fear is a good thing. It's the disproportionate or irrational that becomes the So problem. your prospects willingly purchase your offerings. Mm -hmm. That's where, again, you have to be a product of your product because it, that's where your confidence comes you know, if somebody says, you know, the way you do it just doesn't work. You say, well, I'm sorry, I haven't communicated my approach thoroughly enough for you to see how it would work. I assure you it works. I can also respect the fact that you may not believe it works, but I know it does. And you will, too, when we start working together. But that's because you're a product of the product. You, you've got to have confidence in what you've done. You, it's, you know, a gear, again, what do, most, what do so many people do? They get into fight mode. Well, by God, my way is the only way. Well, that doesn't really work for you either. And flight means you just give up. But freeze is the one where you take no action, and that's the most hazardous. Because if you take no action, you can get no feedback. And if you can get no feedback, you don't know whether the action is good, bad, or indifferent. Helps when I can spell successful. S U. <coughs> but that's a big one. And that's why one of those fears is fear of the unknown. You don't know what you don't know. Somebody knows what you don't know. The question is, do you trust the person who knows what you don't know? I 
keep on trying to line them up so they have the same amount of words. They're, they're pretty close. The difference there over. is the the difference is the communication is the header on the other one is two lines versus a header here being one line. This one is one line over, but that's what's throwing me off. Right. So you could say, look, for them and you, if you wanted to drop for them and you, and then you're going to be aligned. Three for you, if you want to continue that thought. 11 deadly fears, eight for them, and three for you. And now we are one line over. We'll put the three for you up on in the header. You've got room for that, and then take it out of the copy. I'm good now. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Looks so pretty hard good. To tell. Looks pretty good. Ten fourteen. Coffee. Oh, oh. I wanted to stir it. I want to save it. Save it. Save. All right. And then I want to go look at it before we close out. Hey, where'd you go? There you went. Nice. Stop making cash flow hard. I'm actually gonna just take this out for right now, knowing that we need a transition. Okay. Yeah, I'll fix it right now. I do wanna fix that. I'll do that before I get off here personally. Sells brain in a box. Cool. All right, then we will polish up here on double funnel TV. Double funnel TV live. Oh my God! Look, see, you don't tell me when the comments are running. I need you to be able to run the comments. <laughs> Why? I've been reading the comments. The comments are fun. You had to think there was smoke. Of course, Sean saw the original. Yeah. I still think there needs to be a Tom Crazy Cruise. Everything existed before we knew it. Something that they also purchased to build the brand. That's when, when we're talking I'm about. Cheating. <laughs> That's right. Okay. That's when we're talking about the something uh, they purchased to build the brand was when we were talking about the BGN, you know, putting it into the BGN network membership. Ah, all right. All right. I get it. So all we'll right. be back tomorrow. We'll fix it all up. But for on now, Double Funnel I TV, gotta get ready for the BGN Insider meeting. See Are you gonna be there? I will not. I've got an appointment. Okay, I understand. Sorry, right. somebody right. came into town. See you tomorrow. Bye.